Can Ethereum really hit $10,000 by January 15th? This is an urgent altcoin price prediction today. We're gonna talk about the one chart to rule them all. The one ring to rule them all. <laughs> but the one, the one chart. And Ethereum altcoin price targets for the rest of the year and for like a little bit into next year, like this much. Okay, so hey, welcome to The Kale Show, guys. If you guys are here, do me one quick favor. This is gonna be a very short video today. I'm just gonna bang through this, but if you could just smooch that like button for me, mwah, 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 mwah. it really helps us get these videos out to more people. And I know everyone asks for it, but you guys actually do it. That's why we got to 116,000 subscribers so fast. And I really, really appreciate it. So quick update on the, or first of all, I got a really good show for you. It's just a quick brief show, like I said. Um, quick update on the project. Guys, we dropped the second generation for Genesis 2 plus 2, so we have a nice Nice little floor price here on the second collection, and a lot of rare. Um, this a lot of rare uh, Gen twos going for for pretty good prices here. If you actually go through and look at the transaction volume, like some of these ones with different with with hotter colors are going for some pretty 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 sweet pennies here, which is really cool because this was a free mint for everyone who owned one of these. Okay, so if you owned one of our first collection. Um, you got to mint this for free. You just had to pay for the gas. And so it was perfect, awesome mint. Um, and we have you know a very thin floor here on these. And also a lot of these rare ones are going for kind of, cr there's not even a red one on this page. I can't even find it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the cheapest red one is 3.8. And so these are called the Einstein rarities and, and people are, yeah, people are holding on to these because when you have one of these and when you have one of these, the next thing that we're dropping is the utility and the rarer identities that you have, the, the hotter the colors, the better that you will do as far as that next thing. So that's all I got for that. I don't wanna give too much away, but guys, we gotta talk about this because Ethereum to Bitcoin on crypto Twitter right now is literally like this. I don't know what this means, but uh, hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. Pentoshi tweeted, this, I thought this was so funny. This, oh, I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get banned. I gotta turn the sound off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is us on crypto Twitter right now watching the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. Isn't this just everyone on your crypto timeline right now? Literally every single person is like Ethereum to Bitcoin, Ethereum to Bitcoin. I told you it's the one chart to rule them all, right? Literally, I've seen a thousand tweets in one day. I'll try to make this bigger. A thousand tweets in one day with one version or another of the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. It's freaking happening. And if, if only there was someone on YouTube, right, who had been telling you about this chart for like a month now, more than a month. If you go back and watch these videos, guys, uh, <laughs> that's the one chart that I have literally, I've been brought up in every video and you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, Kale, stop showing us the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. But it's playing out exactly like I said, and uh, it's, a, it's about to change everything, the entire game for the entire crypto market. And so, Here's another one, right? Literally, Pentoshi is showing that we got the break, now all we need is the close. As long as we close above $4,600 today, uh, this is on Bitcoin. It's probably gonna pull Bitcoin up above $60,000 and then we're off to the races. But he's saying that Ethereum is controlling the market. As long as we close above $4,600 today, I'm pretty sure we are going to get absolutely parabolic moves in Ethereum, followed by Bitcoin, followed by altcoins. And we'll talk about that order because that's a different order than we normally get in the markets. Same thing here with Shardy B. ETH, BTC, weekly, oh my gosh. Right, like everyone is showing the same chart. And when this starts to happen, guys, when you see literally like 45 people, I can't stop retweeting bullish Ethereum to Bitcoin charts. And here's another one, John Wick, another guy I really trust. Right, when you see every single person, here's another one. This is the chart that I actually, this is the actual chart. I just drew it out for you guys. But you see how this has broken that line? This trend line right here is literally like seven, eight months in the making. And when you break a trend line that has been Look at this, seven, eight months of, of resistance. When you break something like that, people take notice, right? Hedge funds take notice, billionaires take notice. This chart is not escaping anyone's eyeballs, okay? Because it's a very simple equation for some of the bigger money in the space. So I wanna talk about this, because I think this changes everything. I think this changes the entire cycle, and I think that this changes how we approach you know, our Ethereum and our altcoin price targets, because it's gonna be different than 2017. It really, really is, and so here's how I wanna frame this up for you guys because this is really going to help you and make sure you smooch the like button and share this with someone who who maybe is only talking about bitcoin right they're only talking about how the price of bitcoin determines everything well that's not the case right now the price of ethereum is going to determine everything i'll show you okay this is the one thing you need to look at this is raul paul he's been talking about how the ethereum to bitcoin ethereum is following the bitcoin chart absolutely perfectly okay so what i would like to propose to you guys who's watching this video is that ethereum is going to take the place of Bitcoin this cycle. It's going to do what Bitcoin did in 2017, okay? Let, let's just start off with, with, with the data. As you can see here, the line, the white line is the Bitcoin line from 2017 and the blue line is the Ethereum line from, from right now. Can you see how freakily this is following this? It is, it's freaky, it's freaky. Which led Raul Paul, who's one of the people I respect the most in the space, to say 
that he expects something like 100 to 300% rally, highly probable into year end. And he said this when Ethereum was at about $4,000. Okay, so let's, let's take that into account. We think Ethereum is gonna follow Bitcoin from 2017. So what does that mean? Let's go to the Bitcoin chart, okay? If we go back to Bitcoin from 2017, what actually happened with Bitcoin? Because if we can just assume in our heads Okay, Ethereum is going to do what Bitcoin did in 2017. Okay, okay, okay. We need to know what kind of dates we're looking at, right? Okay, so let's. What's today? Today is November. Today is November 30th. Okay, November 30th, and let's go to November 30th on this chart. I'm just going to circle it on this chart. Okay, November 30th on the Bitcoin chart from 2017 is right here. Okay, right here. Now that was at about. $9,000 back then, $9,000 Bitcoin. That would have been nice to buy that back then, right? Okay, so what happened after that? Up until it went basically straight up vertical, straight up vertical, and then it peaked on December 17th. This is December 17th. I'll write that out for you guys, for you blind people in the back. I know sometimes these charts get small. Okay, so December 17th, uh, 2017 is when we peaked. Now, how, what, how high did we go? What percentage increase did we have here? So. Um, I'll, I'll measure from this right here, measure here up to the 2017 peak. That is a 97%, 97% move. Okay. So we went up 97% in 18 days. Woo. All right. That's, that's a lot. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. That's a, that's a big move. However, however, remember it, it, this is where, this is where I start to get really excited, right? I know I'm a little, this is like a, this is kale on like level like five. Usually you guys see me on level like 46, but like, I, I'm trying to be like more serious today. Cause this is like, this is life changing stuff. I, it really, really is. Um, when I, when I see 97%, at, at, people start to think like, oh, that's impossible. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin's not going to go from $58,000 to a 97% gain would be 120K, right? So let me just draw, okay? So, because people start to get, start to doubt it because they're, they're looking at the wrong thing, okay? So they, they know that Bitcoin did 98%. Right now we're at, let's say, 58K Bitcoin right here. 58K Bitcoin, right? BTC. And they know that it did 98% up until December or whatever, right? December 18th, December 17th. They know this, however, wait, 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 where is it? They don't think this is realistic, right? It's not real, and honestly, it's not realistic. We're not gonna get to 100, what is this, 120K Bitcoin? We're not gonna get to 120K Bitcoin by December 17th. There's no possible way, right? However, if you, if you, if you flip it in your head and you think, wow, oh, okay, Maybe it's not going to be, maybe this, this crazy gain right here isn't going to happen in Bitcoin, right? It's going to happen in Ethereum. Now that gets a lot more realistic, right? Because we on, on this day right here, if, if we just, if we just pop it right here, we're at like $4,600. We're like $4,600. A 90, a 98% gain in Ethereum would take us to, you know, close to $9,000. And that would be crazy. That would be crazy by December 17th. I think that that might still be a little unrealistic, um, but still. It's, just, it's a lot more realistic than this, right? Right? And so that's when you start to think it, think it through in your head because, because this is what the billionaires are thinking. This is what the hedge funds are thinking. They're thinking that how I would love to get a 98% gain. I would also love to not have to risk everything, the family farm, right? I don't want to bet on really small coins. I want liquidity, right? So the big dogs are, are literally, they're literally choosing between ETH. They're literally choosing between ETH and Bitcoin. Okay, but they're looking at this chart and they're thinking, which one is more realistic? Or is it more realistic that we get to nine thousand dollar Ethereum? You know, in the at, by the end of the year, maybe not December seventeenth. You know, let's just say the end of the year, right? Because who knows if it's going to go exactly the same day? But end of the year, sure. Which one's more realistic? One hundred and twenty k Bitcoin or nine thousand dollar Ethereum? And uh, the answer is so obvious, guys. It's just so blatantly obvious. You don't need lines. You don't need charts. You don't need anything. This is way more likely, right? And so that's why I think this cycle is gonna play out differently. And I wanna show you exactly how I think it's gonna play out in a second. Let me get rid of that, because I, I wanna show you something, okay? Because what's interesting is that Bitcoin topped out on December 17th, right, in 2017. However, 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 the entire crypto market did not top out until January, what is this? January 6th, January 6th. Okay, so we have a little bit more time there, right? And and if we go back to the date, let's go to what's today, November 30th. This is where we were on November 30th for the total market cap, right? And then we went up. Now, what's the difference? What's the percentage gain here? What's the percentage gain here? So we were here all the way up to the top, tippy top. We were 170%. 170%! Oh my gosh! 
Okay, so when you look at the total crypto market cap and you think, wow, so the altcoins went a lot crazier than Bitcoin even back then, right? And we're thinking about, you know, what is realistic for this for this market? $10,000 Ethereum, you know, by the middle of January, I would honestly say we're a little bit behind here. Like the, this whole Omicron thing might slow things down a little bit. I'll show you why it's actually going to be the catalyst here in a second. So stay till the end of the video. But I do think that like this maybe has moved a few days. I would say let's let's put this at January 15th. I'm not putting it at the end of the month yet. I really am not. And uh, honestly, the end of the year is probably will have a big move. But January 15th, I think, is probably the new date. And to, to say that Ethereum could hit $10,000 by January 15th, in my mind, considering that we did 170% gain in, the, in this six-week period in 2017, we did a 97% gain just in Bitcoin in this six week, in, this, in 17 days from this point in 2017. And the fact that Ethereum is following Bitcoin perfectly from 2017 makes me think that it is not unrealistic at all, at all to get $10,000 Ethereum by the middle of January, okay? And so what I would like to propose to you guys is a new cycle, okay? This is the new cycle that I think is gonna play out. And guys, this is all speculation. This is all dependent on a lot of different things. So don't don't come back to me and say, Kale, you said this is gonna happen. Well, I mean, if if stuff changes with the virus or something, like we are not going to get this. But but if this plays out like I think, this is how I'm playing it right now. This is subject to change. This is why you guys have to come back every day so I can update you guys because Stuff changes every single day, okay? But this is how I think it's gonna play out, okay? We are here, we're at $4,600 Ethereum. Okay, we're gonna price everything in Ethereum because Ethereum is the captain now. Ethereum is in charge of this market, okay? What I see happening is a blow off top, but in Ethereum, okay? Not in Bitcoin. So what I see happening is this. Straight up, straight up, okay? In the top around 13K, $13,000, okay? And I see this happening for now. This could get longer depending on how you know stupid the markets are right now. Okay, thirteen thousand dollar Ethereum. I see this this date as the end of the month, like January thirty first. Okay, January thirty first. I see thirteen thousand dollar Ethereum. Then I know that sounds crazy, but that will be the blow off top, right? Then I see an absolute mega dump the next day. The next day, mega dump all the way down to like five thousand dollars. Literally, people will panic, people will freak out. This will scare everyone to death. This is like the dump that we saw in Bitcoin, right? Again, following Bitcoin, you see this dump? This dump scared the pants off of people, right? There was a dead cat bounce, and then we went back, then we went to the grave, okay? That's what happened in 2017. I expect the same thing to happen here. So this will be February 1st, just so you guys know, February 1st. I'm just, I'm just, it's not gonna be the exact day, guys. I'm just saying, like, this is what I expect to play out. $5,000, okay, then, We'll have a little dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce up to like 8K, $8,000, right? Then everything will die. Then everything will die. And we'll probably bottom out around like 4,000, I don't know, maybe $3,000 ETH, 3K, okay? And th that, this whole thing, this bottom might not happen until, oh, you can't even see. Well, let me move my face. Uh, this whole bottom might not even happen until, I don't know, December next year. Like I think there, there I still think there's gonna be a bear market. I'm not believing this whole, there's no bear market. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't believe that. Okay, December uh, 22, literally like that. That's how long this will take right here, okay, to get down here. And during this time, altcoins will absolutely die. Okay, just so you're aware, uh, your altcoins will go up a lot more. Your altcoins will go up. Like I'll just, the altcoin color is gonna be the purple color, okay? Instead, of, we're just gonna price altcoins in gains. Altcoins will do five to 20X here, five to 20X from here to here, right? Because Ethereum's gonna go up like 2X and these are gonna go up way more, okay? But then they're going to completely die. Altcoins are going to absolutely die when Ethereum dies. So we gotta get out before then, guys. We gotta take profits on the way up. That's really, really important. We gotta take profits on the way up, okay? And so that's what I think is gonna play out in the cycle. For Bitcoin, everyone's like, what's gonna happen with Bitcoin? Honestly, I think Bitcoin's a little bit too big right now. I think it's a little bit too boring. Um, I think that it's probably just going to do one of these. So if this is this is time over here, this is Bitcoin. I think we're at like 5,800 right here. I think we're just going to kind of do one of these. I honestly think that this might be the, oh my gosh, my face is in the way. I honestly think this might be the time where Bitcoin kind of detaches. Sure, there might be, you know, when Ethereum dumps that one day, there might be some of this stuff. 
But like overall, I think it's just kind of be up and to the right, but very, very slow and very, very boring. Okay, so that's what I got. I hope that if that was valuable to you guys, because I haven't seen anyone really talk about this, I would like to be the first guy that talked about that because I think maybe that narrative will start to pick up here. Uh, maybe smooch the like button for me if you thought that was interesting theory. It's just a theory. But hey, one, one last thing I want to talk about, guys, is that what is the fuel going to be for the, and I don't want to talk about this a lot because I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, but what is the fuel for this to get these prices up to this $13,000, right? Because this $13,000 will change our lives, right? We'll get five we'll get five to 20 X's in altcoins. We will get massive gains in Ethereum. Like this will this will legitimately change your life. And, and I, I can't, that's why I get excited about this channel. Like everyone's like, Kale, you're just a big hype man. Well, sure, but uh, I'm genuinely very excited about $13,000 Ethereum. Say what you want to say, okay? And so when we pull up, this news, I think this is our fuel, right? And and we've seen this already. Hold on, let me just show you because we saw this bounce on the Bitcoin chart recently. Am I, do I have the recent one? I don't have it recently pulled up. Oh my gosh, you, whatever. You guys know what happened the past few days with Bitcoin, right? The price went up because they, they, they said Omicron was gonna kill us and then they decided that it wasn't gonna kill us. That's literally why the price went up. And now they're kind of still messing around with, oh, Omicron, is it bad, is it good? <laughs> you know, and now here, here's the thing though. Here's, here's, they're already starting the narrative underneath the surface. This is the narrative. That this variant is going to actually kill off the Delta variant, which is more deadly which means it's kind of like a vaccine. It's kind of like a mild vaccine uh, that's actually going to help everyone. And if this narrative like kicks off, if people think think of Omicron as a good thing, we are going to make so much money. I can't even, I'm gonna take it off the screen because I don't want YouTube to think that's what this video is about, but we are going to take make, we're gonna make this money. Like that is going to be the fuel that we need to push this to $13,000. And so if that made sense to you guys and you're wondering what altcoins I'm buying, I, I, look at my face. This is me from yesterday. I had way more energy yesterday and I went through every single altcoin that I'm buying. Every single one. Like it, it was a really, really good video. 34 crypto coins. So go just watch this video if you wanna know what altcoins I'm buying because it's nice to get a, you know, it's nice to get a 2X on Ethereum, but it's even nicer to get a 5 to 20X on altcoins. So that's what I got, guys. I love you guys. Let me know if you like this one. Smooch the like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.